Hey guys, if you've ever been curious about getting into the world of website building, then there's definitely a lot of great options out there in terms of a platform to use to make it a lot easier for you. One of those platforms is a site called Squarespace. Squarespace is a wildly popular website builder, and honestly, they've made a ton of changes over the last year or so that have really improved the performance as a whole. So if you're interested about learning a little more about Squarespace, stick around. We're gonna be diving into some of the benefits and features and seeing if it might be right for you based on your particular situation. And I will include links to Squarespace down in the description below, along with any deals or discounts I might find that might not be available on their website. So feel free to take a look down in the description if it's something that might interest you. So diving right in, like I said, Squarespace has done a lot of updates over the past year or so, which have been excellent. But do note that if you're interested in trying out Squarespace, they don't have a free plan option. There is a 14 day free trial, however, but if you wanna get the full experience, you will have to pay for it after those 14 days. Another thing to note, and this might be a benefit or a negative to some of you based on your website building knowledge, but they don't give you a ton of freedom here. And if you are planning on monetizing your website, the expense might be a little high. So what I mean by a little bit more of a lack of freedom is that Squarespace uses templates. There are over 60 preset designs that you can choose from and you can customize them to your liking. But again, you will have to choose one of those templates as a starting point. Now the templates are pretty good about covering all different aspects of the industry. There's 14 different categories, such as blogs, weddings. Basically, if you can think about it for a website, you can find a template that will work. And even when you pick that template, you're not locked into it fully. You can switch it to a new preset as you go, but that will change the work that you've done considerably. Now, as far as these pre-made designs go, they look excellent and they are a great way to get a professional looking website up and live quickly. Now, one cool thing with version 7.1 is that now all the templates are actually variations of the same template. And what that means is they all have the same coding framework. And basically that just means that for the developers at Squarespace, the platform is a lot easier to work with. And for you as a user, it means that you can actually change the entire look and feel of your website in just a few clicks. Basically keeps everything nice, simple, and streamlined. But with that said, you can actually still choose to use an older version of Squarespace if you want to use some of their old templates. And that's a great feature to have. Now, if you're just getting into the world of website development, you probably know that some of these platforms range from beginner to advanced, and Squarespace is definitely on the beginner side. It's geared towards those of you who have never built a website before and just wanna get something up and running that looks clean, clear, and have it all done quickly. They have great features like the ability to add a calendar, appointment bookings, a store, and you can do that all with just a click or two and it's done. Now, if you do wanna use a custom template or any custom code, you will have to shell out some more cash for one of the more expensive plans. And again, this is a feature that's prominent in all website builders. Another cool feature is they also do have a logo maker, which is great. If you don't have a logo for your brand yet, then Squarespace can hook you up. As far as the site editor, it's very easy to use. They use a drag and drop formula, which is excellent. You can see what your website is gonna look like before you drag and drop it on, and it gives you tons of options to choose from. These options include things like social media icons, RSS feeds, Twitter feeds, and all other social media feeds, charts, Amazon products, appointment scheduling forms, calendars, e-commerce products, and plenty of others. And once you've chosen the one you need, like I said, you just drag and drop it on and you're good to go. But unlike other platforms like Wix, for instance, you have to drag it and drop it into the given template. So you can't just put it wherever you want. Now this is both a plus and minus because it means that your website will never look cluttered or disorganized, but it does mean that you will have less freedom. Now with the rise of e-commerce, it's really important to have a great store on your website if you are selling a product. And adding a store to your site with Squarespace is super easy. You just click on a couple of buttons, answer a few questions, and Squarespace does the rest of the work. As far as features included, this will allow you to accept payments in a variety of ways. You get automatic tax calculation. You can sell both digital and physical products, offer discounts and sales, sell gift cards, create mailing lists. Honestly, there's tons of things that you can do here with Squarespace and it will get you making money very quickly. The UI for managing all of your products is detailed, but it's very easy to learn. And within no time, you'll be adding images, getting different prices up there and different forms to collect different information from users. This is truly a fully featured store option and it's great to have again, if you are looking to get into the world of e-commerce. The one downside is that you will have to specifically pay for one of Squarespace's business plans to use the store functionality. And those plans are not cheap. If you are interested in the blogging scene, the blog module can save drafts, schedule posts, add tags, and categorize them to your liking. 
You can even set posts to be reviewed by colleagues before publishing. And the actual editor here is truly fantastic. Most website builders have a separate interface for writing blog posts, but with Squarespace, you edit them right on the page. And that's fantastic because you can see exactly what it's gonna look like as soon as you write it. You can also do things like add image galleries, slideshows, and videos. And like any other page, blog posts also have the basic SEO options and social sharing tools that you might want. If you're interested in getting some great add-ons, don't worry, Squarespace does have this option as well. It's actually integrated a lot of external services and other websites. And basically that'll just allow you to expand your website's functionality and connect with other platforms. Just a few examples of that integration includes things like Google Maps, SoundCloud, a video block that supports programs like Vimeo and YouTube. It has Apple Pay, PayPal, Stripe, and Square integration. You even get FedEx and UPS shipping rate calculations. You can use Adobe fonts, Google fonts. There's also G Suite here, Dropbox, Amazon affiliate tracking. Basically all of these fantastic. Now with any website builder, there is still a little bit of a learning curve here, even though Squarespace is definitely one of the easier programs that we've used. Just know that you will have to put in a little bit of time to make sure that you're up and running smoothly. But with that said, there's lots of tutorials that Squarespace provides so that you can jump right in. There's also a great blog that's full of advice on general design, webinars, and all that sort of stuff to get your website looking professional. And they do have a fantastic support team as well. Now, of course, if you are designing a website, generally the purpose is to launch your business. And there are several built-in tools designed to help you market and promote yourself with minimal effort. So that's a great feature to get your brand out there. Now those marketing tools include integrated buttons like Pinterest buttons, Instagram stories, Facebook ads, and promotional pop-ups. You can also use mailing programs like MailChimp or with Squarespace, they actually do have their own email marketing platform. It's free to use if you've already paid for your site. Also, if you do wanna pay a little bit extra, you can actually hire a Squarespace SEO expert and they'll help make your site easier to find via Google and other search engines. Squarespace also recently released Squarespace Analytics, and there you can view terms that drive the most traffic to your website and then integrate them into your website in order to up your traffic. Also a fantastic feature, if you wanna upload stock photos into your website, which let's be honest, most of us do, you can find stock photos right in the site editor. No need to download or resize anything, you just pick the photo you need and go. Now I did mention they have a great support team and if you're interested in getting in touch with them, you can do so by email or ticketing system, live chat and a community forum. And the experts here definitely know what they're talking about. So if you need help, then definitely reach out to them. Now they're not always super prompt, uh, in our testing, it took about six hours for someone to respond, but considering the volume of questions they probably get, this isn't terribly bad. And again, there are a ton of resources out there to help you if you do get stuck. And in that forum that I mentioned, there is a very knowledgeable community that definitely is interested in helping out a lot as well. Now, in terms of plans, I mentioned that there is no free plan and Squarespace definitely isn't the cheapest site builder on the market, but it is definitely worth every penny if you're willing to invest in it. All plans come with a domain that's free for the first year, and by upgrading your plan, you can let users register for their own accounts on your site, as well as get some more analytics, more merchandising tools, the ability to sell via Instagram, and lots of other great features. With most of these advanced features, it's generally focused on e-commerce, so if that's your main goal, then it might be worth it for you to invest in a more expensive plan. So guys, there are four different plans to choose from. You have the personal plan, the business plan, the basic commerce, and the advanced commerce plan. And again, depending on your situation will depend on what plan is right for you. If you are interested in getting some more advanced commerce on your website, then definitely check out some of the two more expensive plans. Or if you just wanna get a blog up and running to spread the word about whatever you wish to talk about, then maybe the personal or business plan would better suit your needs. So guys, I hope this review was helpful for you today and gave you a little bit more information about Squarespace. If you are interested in checking it out, definitely check out the links in the description below. Also, if I do find any deals or discounts that might not be available on their website, I'll throw those down there for you as well. Otherwise, like I said, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And if it was helpful, please feel free to give me a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you do have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave those down in the description below as I always love getting to answer as many of those questions as possible. Otherwise, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video.